Hello and very warm welcome uh, dear students and uh, audience. Today I am going to record this video on uh, the now The Last White Man by Musan Hamid. It will be a type of video review where we will be able to understand what specificities we can attach with the text and the story of this novel and how does it become different as compared to the other novels by Musan Hamid. So let's enter into it and see what we can have. So first of all this is the title of the video. A video review Hamid's The Last White Man. In this video review we will be able to have discussion on the following main points. Number one is going to be racialism, post-colonial dream, dissolution of whiteness, color blindness, new colonialism, empire rights back as well, replacing the text and the language. So these will be some of the important aspects that we shall be talking about this uh, you know this novel this is quite a unique novel and that is why it, it needs special attention to be paid so first of all let's talk about racialism in this novel the matter of race which is based on the whiteness of the color of the people living in america that has been debated upon and as a result automatically when we talk of the of the race that there is one white race and definitely the white race in order to show itself white needs some people who are not white. So in that way automatically the divide occurs there that the colored peoples on the one side and the white people on the side. Whatever happens the story is a different matter. But the story begins on, on the basis of this kind of division among the people that the people who are white and the people who are non-white. So as you know that with whiteness we have number of associations of colonial drama and the kind of post colonial thing which happened. All these things are attached to the whiteness. So that is why uh, this this text can be taken with reference to racialism as well, and secondly, uh, it can come back to post-colonialism because uh, in in most of the countries of the world, it was the white man most of the time who reached the territories of the people who are non-white people and uh, established his rule there. And the people, therefore, living in those countries, like the African or Asian countries, as Fanon had pointed out, that every black man would like to become or replace the white man. He went further by saying that he want, uh, the, the black man wanted to share the bed of the wife of the white man and uh, get possession of the dining table of the white man and the control. So that may be symbolically taken. It means that the black man would like sometime to become the white man instead to control whatever he's got there. But it was his dream. He couldn't do that. And moreover, the alterity, as, as uh, Henan has suggested, is not the uh, a black man's uh, alterity is not the uh, black man, it is the white man. So the wish of the post colonial subject to become like white man, that has been also indicated in this text. So that is why we shall be selecting some of the passages and talking with that reference as well. And then comes dissolution of whiteness. We see in the text that all white people are turning into brown people and ultimately one last man, Ender's father, he also dies. It means that the end of that whiteness has taken place. And instead of that, all color is there. So in that way, one can have a little bit of understanding by saying, okay, then it's going to be America where race wouldn't matter, where color wouldn't matter. They will be all together one type of color or people won't talk even about the color. So that is a different type of message which possibly can come out of this text because uh, mostly the, the texts are written in order to reform, in order to indicate, in order to tell the people what can be done better. So in that way, it can be taken as the dissolution as well. Then is the color blindness that definitely is another aspect that the novelist has failed to see the color. He doesn't want to look at the color, a different type of color, all same color with one lens he wants to look at. So that is why another aspect of the novel can be color blindness. But it can be new colonialism as well. That whatever America is doing, nobody should put a question. Whatever is happening on the basis of race or critical race theory or any other kind of atrocities which are being committed as the people say on the black people or the colored people or segregations and deprivations or the privileges which the white people are enjoying, that thing should not be discussed. That's another type of colonization approach that whatever we do is right, so therefore it's not questionable. So that is why it's kind of colonialism. It is also, the text is also an example of uh, empire rights back because here you can or we can clearly see that uh, the writer of this, this this text is going to be a man from a uh, very excellent writer actually 
from Pakistan and uh, about the post mill writers if they are going to present the indigenous sea, indigenous people, then definitely they can be post mill writers as the traditional definition say. But here we see no Pakistani being represented, no Asian being represented. It is all the white man which is being represented, but in a very precarious condition. So uh, a justification is being sought that there is uh, there's no difference now, everything is equal, there's no problem like that. So that is why this is another way of writing back to the employer or trying to be the same as the master would want. As they say that the post colonial writings are 50 percent representation of the indigenous people and 50 percent they are going to be something which is liked by masters, so that's the imitation of that master as well. The language which is used in this uh, text, that is English of course, but then uh, the style of writing is very different, very different from Mohsen Hamid's own novels also. Like it carries very large size of sentences, uh, separated from commas, with commas or sometimes with colons or semicolons and there is all the time the dot, the full stop coming even after one page sometimes. So very long passages have been used. What is the purpose behind that? Perhaps the writer wants us to be engaged in different things at one space. Like one uh, sentence would carry number of aspects and that can be separated with the comma instead of talking just one aspect in one dot or after one dot. So these are some of the things which the writer has done and this, these things, these uh, six to seven things at least this video can capture. Uh, in order to completely talk about this novel we need number of videos. Possibly in the next coming videos I shall be dis discussing more about the last white man. So let's enter and see with some of the text ex experts which I have copied in order to see how much uh, in the text has been said about these things. So I'm taking it down and so it is the first paragraph, first two passages where the first point is metamorphosis. Uh, like if you read this paragraph, it says he began, he could not help it. To investigate himself, the text of the hair on his scalp, the stubble on his face, the grain of the skin on his hands, dry, the reduced visibility of the blood vessels there, the color of his toenails, the muscles of his calves, and the dripping frantic. So this passage goes to talk about the change which was occurring. It is taken from the beginning side of the, you know, whole of the thing. There the uh, the protagonist, for example, there is uh, Ender, Ender sees, he is upset when he looks at himself, the change condition. It's not, nothing else is changed, body size is same, uh, body structure is same, but only the color is changed. So the, basic thing that we should understand it's the color because of which the privileges come in America or the European world and in the absence of which the privileges disappear that will be talked about most of the time but how the color has disappeared it has been made into a story. The disappearance of the color or metamorphosis the change occurs in this passage which I have labeled as the spread because Anders would be able to find here and there for example when he goes to the grocery store uh, he is able to see the number of people like him uh, were there and uh, possibly he could uh, feel somewhat some type of hesitance also in, in uh, finding other people also in the same store. For example, he has some awkward moments also on page 15 and 16 we observe that uh, when he goes to meet his boss, uh, he, he is able to see that there are the people who are, you know, uh, you, you are sometimes they are they're like him, they have the same size, they have the same shape, they have the same structure. Uh, but the color is changed, so in that way, the change of the color is uh, separating not only uh, among the household families, but also going to the shops and the corridors everywhere. The color change is happening, and that color change, the metamorphosis, has taken place. And this is what the right has made the stand, and they will be talking to us about this. So uh, the very first step that we should discuss is the change of the color. The skin tone, the skin tone with the white man most of the time would claim that it's white. Uh, why should he claim it's already there? And on the other hand, he differentiates by, by you know, presenting to us another skin tone which is black, which is brown, in order to differentiate itself. And, and because of this differentiation, as the color, white color is associated with colonization uh, of almost the whole globe, so that is why superiority or the privileged position is claimed through that. And even today's world, if you, if you have this type of color and you are American or British also, there will be the kind of privileged treatment everywhere. So in this way, the classes or the people divide into two groups. One is the privileged people, another are the non-privileged people, and this is what the world is divided on the basis of the color. So this is the base of the story. This is the kind of metamorphosis. This is the problem in this novel that we are seeing. 
And similarly, if we go a little bit further, we will be able to see that on the workplace also, when Andrews goes there, he meets his boss, meets the people also. In the gym also, he is able to see that the things are happening like that. Even his boss is changing. First of all, his boss hated him, but later on, he himself changed. And as a result, he, the change is occurring everywhere. It's in the common Americans, common people also. But there is a kind of understanding with the right to want to bring it. Uh, that the threat of elimination was there. The people who were turning into uh, brown people, they were feeling threatened that the elimination of the white race would occur. For example, Una's mother thinks that colored line, if you look at that, a plot that had been building for years, for decades, maybe for centuries, the plot against their kind, yes, their kind. Two important aspects are in this line, first is just their kind, they're, they're against their kind. It means that the white people are being regarded by Una's mother as a kind. It's, separate type of people and she thinks that if the tone is changing it's a kind of plot it's a conspiracy of the world to change them she refers back to the same wish and dream of the world colonial post-colonial subject that he wanted to take the place of the white man she says that this type of plot was expected and this is happening and she again says in the next comment lines that she would try to save it because in the absence of her daughters the daughters of the white color the race can finish the future can finish and that is why she would try to save it at every cost so that is the reflection of a person who is a white man he cannot uh, think that the white should disappear and the privileged position should disappear in that way and as a result the people altogether should become same that is the kind of threat of elimination which is being regarded uh, by the writer here through these uh, talks of uh, the mother of Una. in the same way if we go a little bit forward we can read the ending portion where she says, the same mother says, she was terrified but she was fitted to as her ancestors had been fitted to live in areas of war, plague and calamity and she had to be worthy of her roots and pull herself together, pull through for her daughter, for herself, for the people and do what must be done. So that's the kind of resolve which the mother of Una is showing that ultimately the thing will be controlled and everything will be okay. Uh, so the threat of elimination has made her think in that way that they are determined to save themselves and then continuing with the same tone we can see that the things are happening around them uh, for example on radio station different voices are coming and these voices are saying that okay the people are changing now so items were running out not just food but batteries and bandages and medicines and much else besides and the more her mother bought the more una bought with her mother the more it alarmed una it means that people were expecting that here is some kind of calamity the kind of natural disaster because of which anything can happen any change in the world can come and because of that the people had become paranoid and they were searching and looking for the items at the grocery as if some panic was spreading there and so they wanted to have more and more stores and that goes to reflect that when skin tone changed how the white people were very much upset because of this similarly <clears throat> uh, the writer has tried to you know bring before us a paradoxical situation by letting us know what happens when the color become the same and when, if it was, it was not the same what was the situation for this purpose the writer asks us to read this paragraph where a cleaning guy has been talked about uh, in the gym for example the cleaning guy uh, goes there and then he cleans and wipes out and uh, the, the floor is shining everything is good and he would never however raise his profile very silently very boingly at a very small stature he would do all these things as the writer tries to say uh, and as a result, he felt very much threatened by the majority of the white people there. Uh, the writer uh, tells us in the words as I have around them by saying, the cleaning guy always gave the station still in use of white birth, mopping around them, leaving dry islands and keeping low, which was not hard for him since he was a small fellow. And Anders found himself thinking of a bird perched next to lion, like a vulture and not a vulture, maybe a crow, belonging to another element, the air, but feeding at the same place as the predators of the land, except that this bird could not fly and it was unsafe in case of trouble and counted precariously on being ignored. So that is the comparative type of situation that before the change of the color or the tone change, it was a kind of situation where the person who was not white and that person was a worker, he would behave in such a way that he has to stay there but very silently and very uh, in a very small posture and very low graded posture so that he may not be attacked. And the examples have been given to show how in, in, with the lion, a small bird would be feeling uh, with the dangerous or fierce animal. If, if it has to feed and drink at the same place, what kind of feeling of that person would be? 
but when the change of tone of color has come then what is the situation that we can see in uh, different ways for example even una is able to find out the dark people around her and when she looks at herself also uh, she sees and finds out that the things are going out of control and as a result more and more self destructive elements had started to occur one of the self destructive element was not only the panic and hurry for the food items but also the people had started to attack each other and this attack could be heard at any time when the sirens would blow a number of sirens would blow but sometime on the one siren in one direction would blow it means that the people were unable to control all that and as a result you know was upset and worried also this paragraph goes to show this kind of situation that was happening because of this change and similarly uh when the uh, people were busy in in rioting and uh, doing things the militants were going up and as a result some other teams has also come forward in order to control that so this paragraph also goes to show in the same tone that uh, the people who were white they were very much upset and disturbed and they uh, they had started to kill those people around them for example the people who are first white and then they turned into brown they thought that they are suffering from some kind of disease and they started to kill them and uh, so a lot of uh, problems occurred and uh, the the people were dark they were also the targeted people and so problem was occurring in a way there was a kind of psychological war that was taking place between the people who were white but were turning brown and who were white they were still white and still they had the chance to turn into brown and they were turning with the passage of time all these people were had started to fight with each other in order to finish up the matter uh, in order to you know show their frustration that how much they are upset because of this change so in that way the problem was growing Uh, the problem was growing up so much as this paragraph goes to show that Una and Badr had stopped going out. They would go only at that time, which was absolutely necessary because the problem was occurring. Even the deliveries were going on. These deliveries were that dangerous also because if somebody has become uh, come home in order to deliver something, that person can cause a problem. So that is why Una would definitely uh, make the people deliver things of food around her at her home. But she was very much careful that first of all she would ask the person to leave the things and go away. and after that she would go down and pick the food so that was the kind of reflection of the problem for spreading here and there that people were paranoid or panicked the first time the thing was happening according to the story of the novel that people were become dangerous because either they didn't want to touch a person who was turning brown or they were afraid that they would turn brown or they were feeling threatened that their white race is going to end so that is why this is the thing which is occurring again and again uh, in various stages uh in case of the men and women in case of the younger people old people this was the worry which was coming out same was the case with television channels as the writer shows us that uh radios and tvs were also telling that the people who were turning into brown their thinking their mind was also turning the thinking was also changing and because of that some people who didn't like that they would hate to listen to these speeches and on page 67 we have another kind of thing that is uh Mm, the the situation with which uh, uh, with the with the women and men faced when they were able to see someone who were li- who were like them i mean white and later on they were turned into brown according to them they were ugly looking and so same happened with the mother of una that when she saw ander she was so much upset that instead of running away she became sick her her stomach started to boil and as it was started to vomit and she was so much upset because of that the red lines go to show this kind of thing so that is the reaction of a mother who would see a man who is related to her daughter in this situation <clears throat> and not only this the uh, una herself that she was changing into from uh, her <clears throat> i'm sorry from her brownness she was changing uh, so from her whiteness she was changing into brownness and that means that a woman was changing a woman who was the person carrying the genes or uh, the next for the next generation to come and she she could be you know playing a role in that so that is why when she is turning into brown the possibility of giving birth to the white children was ending and as a result the white race race could end when the woman herself turns into brown definitely is a big threat so that is why uh, whiteness genes are shown shown to be affected by all these things and then uh, on page 81 we are able to find out that the last white man the father of the ender is also dead after some time and it was he was buried under that and uh, the people who were burying their people who were turning into brown and dying also so with the death of the last white man the, the 
messages coming up that the uh, where whiteness has ended altogether and the distinctions which were because of whiteness they have also ended altogether and as a result there is only similarity in uniformity of color which was brown that was available all over america the whiteness had ended so that's the kind of story that uh, has been given by the writer and i think that we should be looking at the story with these very points i'm repeating it again that racialism is there there is a postmodern dream of the postmodern subject and dissolution of whiteness of color blindness is there same as the case with the idea of neo colonialism that it's another type of colonialism which should be called american colonialism or neo colonialism the writer is pakistani and there's he's writing on the american community but he's with the background of that uh, post colonial pakistan so that's why it's the empire writing back concept also he has used language in his own way in order to construct the style is of his own style and giving it a special shape in the shape of the longest possible sentences this is all what we can possibly say about this novel uh, what i could at this moment add to understand this text i have added there could be more aspect to this novel and with the passage of time possibly i may be coming with more so so far thank you for listening thank you for watching uh, hopefully that you have got something out of it if so then do not fail to hit the subscribe button as well as the like button and give your comments freely don't ask questions give the comments in order to you know let me know what i skipped and uh, what needed to be added thank you so much for watching hope to see you in some next video